All right, so Pixie here, aka Land Shark, had a really big poo this morning, and then right after she went, like she's been doing, usually does it later in the day, went right into her. They call them zoomies or fraps, but it's not just she doesn't run much. She just wants to turn into a land shark and chew on her leash and chew on my shoelaces and nip my knee and nip my hand and all that stuff. So I'll try to, uh, when she's, you know, I move my hand out of the way, I try to get the leash out of her mouth, but she just turns it into a game. What do you got, Pixie? Come here. Notice. No, leave it, leave it, stop, stop. You can't break, you can't break the light bulb. You I mean you can, but you shouldn't. I might have to leave the trash out here. Hey, get off. Come on, leave the trash alone. Dumpster's right there and people can't even throw their trash in it. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I'll just, you know, correct her with the leash. If she's clutching my ankles, I'll pull up on her leash just for a second to get her off my ankles or off my knees, kind of pulling up and away. Um, move my hand all the way. Obviously, when she tries to bite it, even when I go to fix the leash, you know, if it's under her leg, sometimes she'll do that. Usually only when she's recently pooped, but, um, sometimes I have to just get her to just lay her down on her side, put one hand on her neck. You know, I'm not squeezing hard, obviously, strangling her. One hand on her neck and one hand on her body, or maybe even lightly kneeling on her body so she doesn't squirm around like she likes to do to get away when I'm trying to restrain her and get her to calm down. More trash there. So, anyway, it's ongoing training and just teach her the right things and the wrong things. I love having her. Over here on our post dinner walk here tonight. Still not walking in the snow much because I don't like my feet getting wet. I'll walk around here for a minute. Moving to our new place or a new temporary place tomorrow. Going to get her a dog house to put out in the dog run. Just going to use that as shelter. I'm not going to keep her, you know gate is shut in there just put the dog house for protection from the wind and they can really handle the cold really well but she wanted to have some kind of shelter out there so if it gets windy or whatever she can get in there and have some a broader area that's drying out of the elements and then the whole backyard to play in so it'd be good for her. He's hearing this uh, water from the grain grid over there. Oh, you hearing that, Pixie? Leave it. Good girl. I usually just let her loose leash walk, which she's usually good at. Sometimes she wants to pull that, but if she's good at that, and then I'll here and there throughout the walk, I'll practice heel. Not every other day. She's good with it some days, other days not. Look at her creek underwater, huh? Yeah, this new place will be good. It's temporary until I find something long term, but took a chance getting her in a place that I couldn't keep her at and had to give notice and didn't have a place lined up and it all worked out. Thank God, so. What are you eating, Pixie? Getting the grass? Come here. Yeah, she likes those that long grass and maybe she's sniffing where no dog peed, who knows. breeder I got her from here so the grass sometimes helps them with the uh, digestion so you just 
Don't eat in, I don't know if there's any berries there. Don't eat the berries. Come here. I thought she was getting the grass. I thought it was the grass she was eating. Yeah, excited about the new place. Ain't moving. Still got to finish packing. Moving tomorrow. But it'll be good for both of us.